Do you have a hard time saying no to people? Hmm? Do you have a hard time saying no to people? If you do, you want to listen to this. So I'm reading a book called The Art of Saying No, right, by Damon Zahariadis. And so the book is interesting because it talks about how do you say no and gives you three types of no's that you can utilize to gain more time and have people respect your time. So again, the first no that he talks about is literally the hard, fast, categorical no. Like when somebody asks you for something, you simply say, nope, can't do it, won't do it, refuse to do it, right? That's the categorical no. That's a harsh no. Now, that's the type of no, personally, I would use for somebody who keeps pestering me. This is kind of sending a message like, leave me alone, right? The second one is that you reference a commitment. So you reference some commitment you've made. So if somebody says, hey, Victor, uh, can we get together after work and talk about business, whatever it may be? I, I go, no, nah, I've made a commitment to make sure that I'm home by 6 p.m. or 7 p.m. I've made a commitment to be home with my family to have dinner. I've made a commitment to go to the gym, so forth and so on. You've let them know that you've made a commitment or you made a promise to yourself, almost like New Year's Eve. You've made a promise to yourself so you can't do it. It's funny, when you use this type of, I've made a commitment, I made a promise to myself, people tend to really give you a pass on this, like, meh, I get it, I get it, I get it. The third one is an interesting one. I think it's an interesting tool. It's the compromise no. So when somebody says, for example, can you do this? You're gonna say no, but, and then you insert the compromise. So for example, Victor, can I get an hour of your time? We're doing this meeting, we'd love to be, be part of it. I go, can't do an hour, but I can show up for 15 minutes. Let me know what works for you. That's the compromise. Hey, Victor, we're having our meeting with our team. Can you attend? I'm like, I can, but I can only do it virtually. So three types of no's, right? The first one, hard, fast, no. The second one is you let people know you've made a commitment. You know, basically you've made a promise to yourself and these are things that you're gonna keep. The third one is the compromise no. No, but here's what I can do. Now, when you add all this up, these are three different tools that you can use in the art of saying no to basically gain more time, but it makes people also appreciate your time as well. So again, the book is called The Art of Saying No by Damon Zahariadis. It's a great book and again, sometimes we need to say no, especially in sales. Like, I love the compromise effect, especially when it comes to discounts. When clients ask for a discount, I say, no, I can't do that, but here's what I can do. Mr. Client, I can't give you a 20% discount, but here's what I can do for you. I love that one. Or how about the categorical no? Sometimes you need to say no to the client. Can't do that. Won't do that. Not allowed to do that. Categorical no, right? The middle one, which is the commitment, you said, look, I've made a commitment to only give out discounts if there's a way for us to work out a longer term contract. Mm, there's another way of saying no, but at the same time, here's my counter offer. So again, check out the book, learn to say no so you can gain more time, but more importantly, gain more respect from your clients or people around you. This is Victor Antonio with another Sales Influence Moment, always reminding you, selling ain't hard, when you say no sometimes, and you know how. Take care.